Hey guys, it's Tony from A&E Construction, you're watching Bill with A&E. This is our latest project, John's going to be running this with Bill. As you can see guys, this is a beautiful Georgian Regency house, it was built in about 1815. At the moment this is three flats, we're going to convert this into a beautiful family house. So please come and follow us on this journey. What we've got going on here, we've pierced through this hedge here and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a driveway in here. Electric gates are going to be coming through this section here at the moment. We're then going to reinstate some of the railings on this side elevation, potentially just going through the conservation and planning with that. We've got a skip being dropped off tomorrow, so we're getting all the ply sheets down, getting them all ready to go. Here we go, guys. Are you all ready? Let's take a look Let's inside. Let's take a look inside. Here we go. As you can see, we've started to strip through here. Now, one of the things that we're going to be doing in here will address all the relevant walls to see what's good, what's bad. You can see this back wall here at the moment, it's all blown. It looks pretty sharp. It's it looks pretty sharp. So, all of that's going to get renewed. The other thing we've got is whiteboards here. We use those, they're coming really handy. If suddenly one of the lads got something missing, we can make a key note so we don't forget. And then, obviously, what's going to happen here, you've got this beautiful old Grey to this large way and then there's somebody because this used to be flat has got up all of this good work in the way because obviously what they've done this old building they've broken completely down so what we're going to do is that we're going to take all of this stud work out we're going to take all this ceiling out all this lighting all this capping the one golden thing in the company we have no wires and no pipes to see we hide everything that's really really key when we take that full ceiling down you'll have this beautiful coving which is up here, this detailed coding up here. So what we've got going in here, John, this is going to come out on this wall all the way around here. And that exposed the staircase. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the first room, which is the lounge, as I would call it. The client's going to put a TV up above on the fireplace, which is going up on there, John. And what they're doing is they're going to have a bit of a uh, cinema surround sound going on here. Now, as you can see, we've got this beautiful paper that's been put on many years ago. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? They've got the ceiling as well. So, if you can imagine, straight away, we're against obstacles that we've got to make sure that we hide all the relevant cabling, like the HDMI or the Cat5 cables as well. So, what we're going to do is that we found this wallpaper, which is a really, really big bonus, John. We've actually managed so to find it. Actually found it, yeah. It's awesome. really, really cool. Now the only thing we've got to find now is just this decorative edge moulding here, is it? Yeah. Because obviously if we break and damage into that, we need to be able to make sure we can replenish that and re put it back to its existing state. And what will happen is that we've got speaker locations going in in this room. Speaker going here, speaker going on that of the wall. So what will happen is we'll actually feed the cables up through the back of the wall and then come through this way. The speaker come onto here. Save damage okay. in this paper, doesn't Save damage in the yeah. paper, save money and costs and everything else. Sockets for the speakers will actually go into the floors. So there's not a huge amount to do in here. It's a bit of remedial work to do in the corners where we've got a little bit of damp, but we're going to address it from the outside because it being a listed building. We've had a good chat with Kilrot who do all of our tanking and do all of our basement work. So we're going to tackle all of the damp issues from the outside because obviously this has got a basement. We can actually then tackle the damp, rising damp through the basement side so we're not then knocking off all this decorative, beautiful pattern moulding that we've got here. Now if anybody knows what all of this is called, please put a comment below because I don't know what this is called. And there's bound to be somebody out there who knows what this is called, because I don't. Someone's Do got to know. Somebody's got to know, yeah. haven't they? So. A great example of old buildings, they've got sockets in skirtings. Absolutely the bane of my life. I hate sockets in We're skirts. Yeah, the radiator yeah, that. That's yeah. It, yeah. So all of those are going to get lifted to a really nice height so they look aesthetically a lot better. And then the other thing is we're changing all of these radiators, John. Every radiator that's going in the house is going to be cast iron. All of the double glazing panels like this, which aren't original, we're going to take these out. And we're hoping here, now if you can see, somebody's been doing some work on these panels and the one thing we're hoping, John, is that we can actually, when we take this panel off, there'll be some shutters, the shutters in there. Still in there so yeah, I'm really hoping the shutters are still in there because I know on other parts of the house where we go on reveals like this, you'll actually see the shutters are actually working. And a great example of this, look, you would think when you're looking at this opening, what's behind there, what's behind here? So, if you come round to the other room, you'll actually see. But look at these beautiful old doors, John. How cool is that? You wouldn't expect that to be hidden in the wall, no, would you? Wouldn't, would you? And the great thing about this is that these doors actually slide into this wall. So when they constructed this whole building and everything else, they sort of pre-thought all of this and thought, right, that's all going to go into the walls. It's just going to go amazing when we get these up and running again, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. so that cool. 
what we're going to do is strip this ceiling in here because this paper isn't the original paper. But what we're going to do is put a thousand gauge lining paper on here. Okay. What they'll do is they'll feather in this edge here as long as it's not too bad. If we need to patch repair it, that's what we'll end up doing. And it's the same with the walls on here. What's going to happen, we'll end up stripping the relevant walls, we'll then fill them, fine fill them, sand them back, then Line. thousand gauge lining paper again. And obviously where you've got sockets like this here, John, all these sockets will come out and get re-threaded. We have a full electrical specification, uh, exactly where everything's going with every fitting. The other thing is there are decorative fittings. They're Colston, is an architectural electrical company or basically just specify and make your specific fittings that you want. All right, okay. So that's they're what's going bespoke. on. Yes, yeah, so bespoke stuff. And then the rest of the other fittings are white plastic, but they're Hagar fittings in here. We've got a little bit of work to do on there as well, John. This is a beautiful original fireplace here. Absolutely stunning. We're not going to take this out. All we're going to do is take out the half here, take out these insets here, take out the reveals. We feel as if we might have a little bit of asbestos there. We're just going to get that double checked. But basically all this will then come out and then we'll put a new inset into this and a new half as well. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. This will disappear, this gas connection, that will go completely. All of the floors, if they need repairing, we're going to repair them and obviously then put new bits of reclaimed floor back down again with cut class nails. And the floors then will get sanded and then get all stained up. Stained, okay, yeah. so that's going to happen on every floor. The only floor that's not going to happen is the main hallway floor. That's going to be carpet. Because that's actually got beautiful Victorian slab still through it. Oh, wow, okay. So, what we're going to hopefully do, if they carry on all the way through the hallway, we're then going to strip them, get them all cleaned, sand it all back, and then reseal them. Okay. Yeah. The kitchen area itself is made up of two rooms. So, this is one room, and then we have another room next door. Because of this amazing, beautiful cornice detail again, what's going to happen? We're going to leave this picture rail detail up, going all the way around here like this, John. Yeah. And we're going to take this wall out, and we're going to take it up four inches below the picture rail line. Okay? okay. Now, it might be four, it might be two, because the client here is going to have a really tall wall unit and kitchen cabinets, because they're going to have a ladder system going up to the top of the kitchen which will be really, really cool. Oh, it's going to be really cool. good. I'm yeah. super excited yeah. to see that. It's going to be so cool. There's a load of stuff going into this kitchen. It's going to look really cool. Big island piece in there as well. When we get rid of this wall, if you imagine it's going to expose that beautiful staircase to the other side, isn't it? Okay. And you're going to see all of the stone treads that are on there. So there's a lot of work to do on the staircase. We're okay. going to get a soda blaster and put the compressor outside. And then what we can do is blast all the railings Carefully up. And blast it all yeah. up. Yeah. And it'll look beautiful. So, but if you can imagine all of this at the moment, this is all solid. Yeah. And then what will happen is this is in the other part of the kitchen in here. So as you can see, where they've gone boarding over the years. We're going to take that section out, drop down again, same corners detail all the way around here. Now, I was talking about the shutters earlier, wasn't well, I, John? Yes, here they are. So there you go, there they are. So what we're hoping is in the front, you can see that they've been messed around with because you see this mould here, yeah. it's not on the ones on oh, the front. Not. No, so you know in later life they've come along, decided to mess around with it, and then what they've done is just put their own panels in. Panel on and it. they've probably then just screwed it through, screwed it through. So what the key thing is what we're gonna do is we'll take all that off. If we do, what we're hoping to find is all the panels have just been left inside like that. And what we can do is if we need to make an original face door, we can. And then match this mould up here quite easily and then re-hinge it the same as this. Yeah. And that will then look beautiful on the other side then, won't yeah, it? Because, really nice feature. because as you can see, see this detail here? Yeah. When you go back and you look at that other detail, it's got none of this panelling bead on. And that's a very true sign of the old panelling. The one thing we're going to do is make sure all of these cords are working correctly with all the sliders. I mean, there has been a little bit of work done on them. This is actually quite a new casement, even though the mould is beautiful and it's been scribed in here. They're not quite levelling through, so we need to mess around with yeah, them a little yeah. bit just to make sure they're working correctly, the uh, the top casement and the bottom casement. Do you know what this is called, guys? In joinery term, this is called a two over two, this is, because it's two pieces of glass over two pieces of glass, yeah. This is a um, sliding sash window. I mean, look at that, that little latch there. So we get these working correctly, so we'll clean them all up and make a feature of those. But even if we can't get this working properly, you can actually still buy this. We can soon mess around and, and get it back to its former glory. Exactly that. You see how wet this is? Yeah, there's a lot of damp there. A lot of there. damp on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort the stacks out because there's no ventilation there at all. So it's really important that we get all of the caps off which are there. We get the stacks reinstated correctly. 
get that ventilation going around this chimney snap to make sure it stops it sweating yeah, as it at the right. moment. Also, there is a bit of blown render the other side that isn't happening either. So obviously that might give us a bit of damp as well. Look, you can see all the damp here, let's see it. Yeah. All the way across. Over here as well, isn't it? Over here as well. So obviously some of this is through the bad render, which is on the outside. So it's really important that we address the render outside. Yeah. 